Hello. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I forgot that in the summertime we have a lot of sun. A lot. A lot of sun. Ta-da! There, I won't be looking terribly awful. <clears throat> Except I am windblown. We're driving around with the convertible top down. On Ryan's Miata. Hello, hello. So, hey Miss Lisa. You might recognize a lot of the stuff we're going to show tonight. We finally got through some of your dad's stuff. So, we thought we'd show it because it's going to have to find home somewhere on all the flat space we have. Um, hello! 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 Hey, Miss Sarah, how are you? Thanks for watching. Not sure if my mom's going to be watching tonight. Um... <laughs> Hey Charlene, how are you? Thanks for watching. So we have Lisa and Charlene, we have Sarah. Um, <clears throat> my girlfriend Tammy may be watching. Hey Miss Chris, how are you? Miss Chris, I hope you got my email. Um, we like canister sets, however, I think we're gonna hold off on yours, so, but thank you. Um, we are wondering when you're moving, Chris, because it should be coming up. And you're very calm, so we're not going to get freaked out for you. Hey, Miss Teresa. Hello. <clears throat> um, so, yes, it is May 24th. It is Monday. Hey, April. Haven't seen you in a while. Thanks for watching. Wow, we have a good group of people. Good, because I have a favor to ask um, <clears throat> as we get going. But it is May 24th. This is your other closet. Jacob. Hello. How are you? How is Michigan? Um, May 24th, your other closet, Monday evening, we are doing twilight shopping. My name is Kelly, if you've not, uh, tucked in, I'm far from calm. Oh, okay, well, Chris, because you had us thinking you were really calm, which we were excited for you, because we thought it's great if you're moving and you're not calm. Hey, Viola, how are you? Um, <clears throat> it's the last week of May. Anybody else think that May has been the longest month ever? Oh, my flipping goodness. It's like a never-ending month. But um, last month of May 2021, I am happy for the fact that this time last year we had just reopened, so we have gone through a full year. Um, and uh, it's actually, we have been, we're about 62 weeks into this for my shop, 62 weeks. And you all have survived, we have survived, so, you know, we can get through anything, right? Um, but we are doing our twilight shopping tonight. I'm gonna to show you some behind the scenes stuff, which is stuff that we just processed because we are closed on Sundays and Mondays. Um, Monday, Ann and I come in and we try to tackle the mountain of stuff because I do not know how to say no. So I always help people who have estates or they're moving or they're going through stuff. And I have a lot of things and you know, I can't sell stuff unless it's in the store. And so I'm making sure we have things we just have lots of things right now. It's all in my office, which I'm not allowed in anyway, so why not use it as storage? So, um, we're gonna show you some of the stuff we have, some of the cool stuff we have. And uh, if you see anything you like, comment below. You can tell me if you want it on hold. It is all online, uh, and took photos as we went through it today. Um, it's all online, available to be shopped online. Uh, as we get closer to June, we are also mentioning that we are going to do our business booster event on June 12th. We're going to try and do one every month of summer, so June, July, August. <clears throat> and what we're doing is kind of um, providing extra information to all our customers about all the great businesses here in our shopping center and what they do or what they can provide. I'm on vacation this week and came by the store. Oh, I'm sorry, April. Yeah, we've been always closed on Monday. I got a little grief at the beginning, but I was thinking if I run this shop all by myself, seven days a week would be way too much and I'd die. So I didn't want to die. Um, so we are closed on Sundays and Mondays. I apologize, but my online shop is open 24 seven. So you can shop online. Ah, so tonight, if you see something you like, purchase it online if you're local. We can hold it for you to pick up at the curb or pick up in the store. Or if <clears throat> you need it shipped, uh, leave us a note and we will try and work on shipping it to you because I know my mom's uh, cousin gets some stuff shipped. Um, 
And then if you also are local, it is just something small like jewelry or some clothing or a couple of pieces of decor, we can deliver locally as well. Okie dokie, we're gonna get going. The sun is what I was avoiding because it's going down and I forget that in the summertime we get just plastered and it's so hot. We haven't been here after five for a while. And uh, so now I'm remembering, hey, it gets hot and very sunny. Um, we one time in my brilliance stuck candles in the window to you know, spruce up some table we had in the window and the next day they were all kind of leaning. So we knew, don't do that anymore. <laughs> anyway, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you a couple of things, but before we get going, so mental health note. We've all been doing this for over a year, actually 62 weeks, some, whatever. So we all have crazy things that we do, <clears throat> bad habits, whatever. And I just wanted to share something that I think we all do and so just know that everybody does it and no need to freak out or think we're weird but the thing that I wanted to say hey Miss Tammy was I think too often we all apologize because we're all nice people and we're all like hey someone taught us to be nice and we're supposed to apologize for everything um, we apologize way too much and uh, um, we also do things like we think something we've done is stupid so we want to say oh I was stupid <clears throat> And it was just like an accident or it was just something dumb. Um, so one of the things that we have on video a few months back and the girls, Claren and Melissa and Ann all laughed their butts off and cried a little because we have these really tall cabinets and they have glass doors. And in my head, I told myself, don't worry, the glass door is open. And during video, I was showing stuff and um, the glass door was open and I knew it. So <clears throat> I kept telling myself, do not run into it. And I turned right around and walked right into it on video, which made them laugh hysterically. So while it is an accident, it does happen to everybody. And I unfortunately am like the least graceful human in the universe. So I have fallen all the time and I have run into things. I have bruises all over myself that I don't even know where I got. I saw one on my foot the other day that I was like, I think I remember doing it, but I don't. So what I need help with is for people to remind me. I don't have to apologize for every single thing, nor do I have to sit there and think that just because I did something goofy, I was dumb. Okay. <clears throat> oh, see, Sarah, it was a memorable moment when I walked into the glass door. It made that video cool. So <laughs> anyway, at least you have to have a sense of humor, right? Okay. So um, the other thing is we have decided that we are the Sherlock Holmes of consignment. Yes, we are. And actually my husband hates this because I'll go home <clears throat> and I can walk through the shop house and I can tell you exactly what he did and he doesn't remember why. So like tonight on the way here, I said, hey, you stole a shirt off the drying rack and before I could iron it because I was taught to iron shirts. And he's like, no, I didn't. And I was like, yes, you did because you left the hanger there. Not really good. So um, yeah, here, <laughs> don't ask me why I know these really goofy things about something. So we got a pair of high heels <clears throat> and we always look them over to see if there's any damage. Hey Liz, how are you? Thank you for watching. I hope you're feeling good today. Hope today's a good day for you. Um, we uh, see your posts and think of you often. So many hugs. Um, anyway, we got a pair of shoes in. They were high heels, they're gorgeous. They have these um, look like metal stiletto heels and they're black satin. So it's for dressing up. Anyway, um, there's a rubbing spot underneath and we we're trying to figure out, well, why would that one have it and not the other one? So <laughs> don't ask me why I say these things out loud. So I went through the whole thing. Well, hey, if the left heel had a little rubbing right in behind it, it's because she's driving in the car and she leans her heel on the ground and that's where it rubs. On the right foot though, it wouldn't be the gas pedal because Ian's like, oh, it must be the gas pedal. No, no, and it wouldn't be the shift. So I said, oh, I know what she does. She sits on a bar stool or a counter stool that has a rung. She hooks her heel there and then she takes her left leg and puts it over her right leg when she crosses her legs and sits. And then we just sat there and went, yeah, we're the Sherlock Holmes of consignment. Don't ask me where I come up with this crap, but I do. And it's just trivia that's in my brain and I spew it out. <laughs> so you miss all that when you're not here behind the scenes. Okay, we're gonna show you some stuff. My mom hopefully is watching. <clears throat> hey mom, how are you? Hey dad, I'm gonna mow tomorrow, just so you know, because the grass is laughing at me. Um, Mom's bringing in some of her stuff, so we have some cool stuff. We have these uh, soup bowls. They're very pretty. It's a set of four. 
and they have gold rims and they're not just any day well boring soup bowls these are cool soup bowls because this is called the peony pattern and they are from noritake yes noritake noritake means a lot in our family because we have noritake dishes and noritake came from my great aunt we have a full set actually she had this huge super set and i got half and my sister got half long story short anyway so there's four of those and they're in beautiful condition they have a beautiful pattern and they're soup bowls and they'd be fun i would think they'd even be fun for cereal or ice cream we all love ice cream right okay <clears throat> and that set is 25 dollars and they're online so look online um we also have this which is a big deal for everybody else but i don't remember roseville bowl this is the wheat pattern in blue sponge we saw these online for a bazillion gazillion dollars and we weren't sure hey lauren how are you your mom's on you're on this is cool um but this one bowl is on sale for 16 or 19. i need new glasses guys 19. <clears throat> okay then we have some pie plates and mom i stole a couple so i kept a couple sorry anyway this one is gorgeous it is by um household uh, Institute kitchen craft it's a vintage it's really pretty nine and a half inches in diameter it's ovenware it also has a metal rim um, a gold rim and this is there's a special I can't remember the pattern but these are collectible too so if you won't need a pie plate um, that's a dishware we oh let me show you this other piece we found out this is called drip glazing hey lisa so this is lisa's dad had these okay <clears throat> anyway drip glaze they are by win art it's a company that makes these it's a cream and sugar sugar is unusual to us because it does not have a lid who to who thunk i guess you put cubes in it i don't know and this is 15 dollars for the set it's in like a real pretty green kind of cool um so then we go to we have an Asian flower pot, okay? This is kind of cool. It's not a huge one. It does have, does not have a um, drain. So if it's a plant that needs to drain, don't put it in here, but it is really pretty. It's not that expensive if you collect Asian pottery, 15. Um, these are kind of cool. <clears throat> I learned a little more today. Every day I learn something. So this is, a cobalt overlay on crystal okay then they cut it to see the clear part so if you look da, 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 it's cut cut down to the clear so that it looks like it's two colors but it's really clear glass with a cobalt overlay and this vase <clears throat> we have 25 dollars on it's very pretty um we have two decanters again looking online these don't have labels so we can't guarantee which crystal company made it but uh, we didn't overprice them this one is 28 it's about seven inches tall again it's the cobalt overlay it does have a stopper i don't think it's original because it's a little loose they usually are pretty tight okay i know cobalt is gorgeous blue. we love cobalt blue but this is kind of fun <clears throat> and then this one I pray I don't drop is much taller it's about 11 inches tall it has the palm kind of cut into it and this one has the original stopper the reason why we say that is because it's etched or cut as well and has the matching pattern <clears throat> so this one's kind of cool it's 38 we have another one that I always think barware think of my brother my little brother <laughs> yeah he drinks a lot no he doesn't <laughs> he just has this really great bar and he collects barware and he has great lights and he's got this colored stuff it's really cool he's got signs anyway when i find cool barware i always think i should get him more but he probably doesn't want any more anyway there's two decanters like this they are pressed glass but with a diamond pattern <clears throat> they have their original stoppers <clears throat> that do have cork and it's interesting because it has this black hieroglyphic image on it I'm thinking mid-century there is no label on it I googled the heck out of this yeah but we have two of those plus 
the Tom the Collins drink glasses or their highballs, whichever you call it. So it's this tall skinny glass where you put in for the highballs. And this has the hieroglyphics as well with actual, I'm guessing, words in hieroglyphics. <clears throat> They're frosted, the black etching, the black lettering on them is painted on. It's kind of cool. This is a unique um, set. I don't know how many they originally had, but they have nine now, so we call it eight plus one. And for the whole set, we put $75, which is really cool. So Dad's Father's Day's coming up. Graduation's coming up, birthdays are coming up. If you have somebody in mind who has collects barware, like my little brother, that might be a great set. In addition, we have these other ones that are by Osaka Glassware. It's in from Japan. They are vintage. They are glass shots, if I do this the right direction, glass shots, and they have little metal holders, which is interesting because my mom and I were talking about this because we have phosphate glasses that are larger glasses for like Sundays and phosphates and stuff like that that had the little metal holders too <clears throat> and so these are just small enough for um, shot glasses and they're from Reno so they're a souvenir set and there's six of these and each one's a different color so this one's the blue and then they fit inside they're all in great shape so far no chips hopefully I keep it that way um, we have a decorative uh, jug. We're not quite sure why. It's an interesting part of this collection, but it's just decorative, so it is a jug. It has a handle, but it distinctly says does not hold water. So it's ceramic, it's high glazed. You can tell that it was um, probably hand done because you can see the um, ridges of the clay. <clears throat> and this one is uh, $10. And Anne dared me to do something, so I did it. <laughs> on our website, we put descriptions on all these things. And in the description, I try to tell you things like, oh, it could be a soup bowl or a salad bowl or how you can multi-purpose it. Well, we, <laughs> we always joke that the heavier pieces are truly the weapon of choice because you put something that looks nondescript, like, oh, there's nothing dangerous in this house, ha, ha, ha. And then you find <clears throat> the polished stone 10-pound vase <clears throat> and so this knocks someone in the head they're going down and so it might be good for an individual who lives by themselves and needs something like this anyway we're not sure it's marble so we said it's polished stone it's in grays it's in beautiful shape and it is eighteen dollars cool um we have these really cool candle holders they're from czechoslovakia they are the blue onion pattern there's two of them. They're for tapered candles. They're really cute. So if you are going back to having tapered candles, not a lot of people do that anymore. They always get a candle in a jar, just easier. But these are pretty and they're $20 for the pair. <clears throat> and this one I'm not gonna pick up because I am totally gonna toast it. So I'm gonna rearrange it so you can see it. This is simply for decor, but it is cool and my camera keeps turning sorry anyway let's see if you can see this it is designed to look like the scale of justice but the arms don't move it has a marble bottom crystal and glass in between brass pieces and then these two pieces that hang off and it's just kind of an art deco piece um I guess people used to like that and uh, it would be cool, especially if you know somebody who has a lawyer office, something like that, or likes Art Deco, okay? And this piece is online and it is $55, okay? All right, keep going, more decor, lots of decor. Tomorrow we start working on a lot of the estate stuff that we had come in that we are not sure about, that we had to give ourselves some time to do. The last week of the month we stopped taking appointments and my camera just doesn't like me tonight. There, let's balance it. Ta-da! Okay. <clears throat> anyway, um, this week we tried to catch up with all the estates that I said yes to and so we'll be processing a lot more decor. Um, but and we have a little bit more tonight. 
we have another vase. This one's kind of cool. It's gold metallic paint and turquoise underneath to look patinaed. It's um, a Stangl, S-T-A-N-G-L, and it is $20, $30. We have some uranium glass. If you guys have not seen the movie that came out in 2020 called Radioactive, it's about Marie Curie. Um, holy cow, really good movie. I kind of liked it a lot more because I'm into science and math, but it was crazy. She carried around a bottle of radioactive um, uranium and just carried the bottle around and it was her motivation but ultimately she ended up dying from radiation poisoning crazy but they used to call this uranium glass and this one is three-dimensionally embossed with a peacock and it is da -da -da -da, 24 dollars we have another one that's a candy dish or could be a vase it's a glass basket in blue and white. That one's 16. We have, these are kind of fun. It's supposed to look like a cracked egg from Japan with the flowers on it. This one is 15. We have frosted glass. Oh, you guys would have loved this. Okay, so <laughs> Anne was researching this one and this one, okay, and Online, you can find these and they say they change color in the sun, which is cool. I have some stuff that does that. I have nail polish that does that. I have some hair barrettes that do that, a t-shirt, a bag. Anyway, <clears throat> you can solar stuff. She wasn't sure how to do that. Well, we don't want to go out the front door because if we went out the front door, people are going to want to come in. So she goes out the back. She's standing in the um, alleyway that we have, <clears throat> holding it, trying, nothing's happening. I go follow her out. I get about 10 feet out of the door and it's a little breezy and it pops in my head. What if the door closes <laughs> from the wind and we're both standing outside with no phone or keys? So we ushered ourselves back in and said, that's it, no more experiments, but they don't change color in the sun. Sorry, anyway, this is frosted glass. It holds a pillar candle, not too expensive. I think this one was eight, this one's 10. It's a little different because it's two layers. Um, we have a frosted candy dish. It is pressed glass. Um, it's 10. <clears throat> we have some carnival glass. This one's cool. We've been getting some really great, beautiful colored glass in. Amber color, blue colors, the whole works. This one is two-tone. It starts off blue, goes to green. It has two handles. That would make a fun candy dish. And then this one is actually a candle holder. Hey, Lorena! How are you? Thanks for watching from Canada. Hello. Um, it holds a tapered candle. The wax would um, drip inside. However, it could be now a modern um, pillar candle could also fit in there as well. And it's heavy enough that if you had it on your patio, it should not blow over. I say that and something will go wrong. Um, <clears throat> let's see, what else? What else do we have that's new? We have put a lot of jewelry on. We have a lot of jewelry that's new and it's in our um, online system and in the shop. We are getting some bags in. Um, some of them were processed before the weekend. Some will be processed this week, like I said, when we catch up. Um, Melissa's been doing a ton of new artwork and not as big. So recently we've put out about five to maybe even 10 very large pieces that would be great for a centerpiece on a wall or a statement piece in a bedroom, something like that. <clears throat> and um, recently we got a whole set of smaller pieces that are either photographs or small paintings, things like that. And she's been putting that out. Um, let's see, I'm not sure what else. The sun is finally going down and I'm finally cooling off. Um, and Ryan is back. Hi, Ryan. Ryan, hi, just say hi, hi. <laughs> oh my gosh, anyway, um, Fridays at 12.15 we do videos. Directly after this one, we are going, um, this week we are doing another home visit, so I do have more stuff coming in. And most of it is because people are moving. Lots of people are moving, lots of people selling homes really quick and they have to get everything out. Um, <clears throat> if you have not been online, we have some 
Other cute pieces that have come out, a lot of cookware has come out. We have that Fiesta cookware, which is like a casserole bowl. Do you have any Laurel Birch merchandise? Right now, we don't. I think the only thing I've got online, and it may have timed out, but it's here on the shelf, is I have two Laurel Birch brooches that are cats. Um, and that was Ryan going in my office. <laughs> I wasn't sure. It's like counting heads. Um, so April, I think we only have two Laurel Birch pins and they should be online, but if not, they've timed out and I'll check them later. Okay. Um, <clears throat> anyway, we had a really cool little tea set come in and it's a um, Noah's Ark tea set. So cute. Let me show you real quick. Hold on. So Noah's Ark, the cream and sugar look like arcs and then there's it looks like a salt and pepper shaker that looks like Noah's Ark as well. These are kind of fun. They are online. They're also on our, um, Melissa added some photos of it on our Facebook page. Um, the teapot is 20 and it's by, uh, doesn't say, but it's super cute. I mean, the elephant's on the back. So cute. Anyway, we have that. And that might be fun for <clears throat> like my mom, she used to do tea with me and I had my own little teacup for like a little kid teacup and mom had her own teacup. She would make tea for me because she and dad learned to drink tea, tons of tea when they were in England. And so when they got, came back over here, they still drink tea. Mom to this day still drinks tea and I drink oodles, gallons of iced tea. I am not a hot tea drinker as much, but we had tea when I was a kid. That Noah's Ark thing would be so cute for tea. <clears throat> anyway. The other cool thing we've just added, and we have quite a few of these, and they look gorgeous, is we have glass fruit, which is a thing people like to decor, um, collect. Put in your kitchen instead of a bowl of fresh fruit that might go bad. You have the glass fruit. These are very shiny, very good shape. But we have oranges, apples. We have peppers. The world's largest strawberry or pepper, whichever one it is. We have um, squashes depending on what you're growing. I am growing celery this year. Anne and I were really both impressed that you could actually grow celery. We knew you could, but we didn't know how, but we're growing celery. So there's a celery, glass celery one, kind of cool. Um, we have some peppers, we have three or four lemons. We have all kinds of cool stuff, so that's really fun. Have I gone too long? No, I'm almost on time. Anyway, so upcoming things, Julie. Julie, Jacob's on. Jacob, Julie's on. Hey, and my mom's on. The family is on together. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you guys for watching. Anyway, we have um, great, a lot of stuff online. Uh, Anne's doing a great job taking photos and putting it online. Um, Claren's been putting jewelry online. So we have lots of cool stuff. So if you want to watch the video and you see something on there, you can comment below, ask me to hold it for you. You can go straight to our website, yourothercloset.com and buy it. If it is something small, we are shipping. Um, it's, I think it's a flat fee of $7.99, but if it goes like to Canada, we will work it out with you. Um, <clears throat> if you are local, we hold on to it. You can pick it up at the curb. You can come into the store and pick it up. Um, and um, if you are local and it's something small, uh, Melissa, Claire, and Ann, Ann all have been delivering things for on their way home. They drop something off because <coughs> we know you guys work. You guys have a lot of scheduling problems. So um, think of it if you would like something delivered. Um, and then uh, if you do um, want something on hold, call the shop 355-5979. Leave a voicemail even at night when we're not here. We'll put something on hold for you. And if you're coming in, so a good friend of mine, Emily, um, works all the time, craziness. Uh, she is the principal of a school um, south of here. And uh, you know, everything is crazy chaotic, but she wanted to buy some great clothes, saw some clothes online, asked us to hold it, came in, tried it on this weekend, boom, done, went home. So that's the way you can shop a little faster is have us pull some stuff out for you. And my mom has been keeping us really caught up with the 50% off rack. So that should all be current stuff that's 50% off. So you can find some great deals. And again, things like all of our pants are $8 or less. So when they're 50% off, four bucks for a pair of jeans. Hey, pretty cool. Anyway, um, <clears throat> lots going on. 
And this week, we hope that you guys remember or think about it in the morning of, I believe, the 25th to the 26th. I'm not sure which. Um, it's a full blood moon lunar eclipse. And so if you think about it, it's supposed to be pretty much almost everybody should be able to see portion of it, if not all of it. And unless you have a lot of clouds, which we're hoping we don't, but um, it should be closer to morning. So you don't necessarily have to lose tons of sleep. You just have to get up early with a cup of coffee and watch it, maybe. Who knows? But that sounds like fun. Um, and then June 12th, starting um, in June 12th, is our first business booster event. What we're trying to do is support locally owned businesses and um, everybody in our shopping center we're trying to get information for. So if they're doing specials and sales, we're going to put them in our bags when we sell stuff. <clears throat> um, ah, Julie. Yes, I see that song too in my head. It's going on. Um, anyway, we support local businesses and we're supporting some of the local artists that we highlight in my store. So we have a few people who do... Um, individual businesses on their own, they're jewelers, they're um, buyers, they're um, people who redo furniture, things like that. So when they're working through us, we don't do the same cut as like a consigner because we know they have to spend a lot to try and create something or sell it, resell it. So <clears throat> we're going to highlight them too and hopefully they will be in the store on the 12th so they can help and maybe bring additional inventory that they could sell. So our way of giving back, our way of helping out and getting the word out that there are a lot of local businesses that could use some help, especially after COVID. Um, the shop is trying to be very careful still, so the, um, all the staff are wearing um, masks until the end of June. We still are doing our um, special cleaning um, requirements where we clean all the surfaces a few times a day, uh, the door handles, things like that, the phones, this flat surfaces. We also take all the stuff that people try on, hold it aside for 24 hours. Um, trying to keep everybody safe. So <clears throat> if you are local and you're going to come shop in my store, um, we encourage you to continue to wear a mask, but it is your prerogative and um, we won't fight you on it, but we're going to be wearing ours. Okay. And we just hope that everybody's staying safe because we really don't want to have an, a relapse. We don't want to have another outbreak. We don't want to have other people get sick. So Hope all of you guys are staying safe. Hope all of you guys are not doing too much. Because I know when the weather gets nice, everybody wants to rush out and do everything all at once. And that's usually when I find out I have muscles I did not know because I've been gardening too much. So <clears throat> that's it for me, guys. Thank you for watching. All of you guys were watching. That's amazing. Please pass it on to anybody else that might be interested in any of our stuff. Um, if you know somebody who's looking for furniture, we have oodles and we get more all the time, but it sells very quickly. So let them know that they may want to call us and put it on hold or they may want to buy it online right away and come pick it up. Um, and uh, leave us a message. We'll get back to you. If you're looking for something special, we do some personal shopping for you. We had someone come in and look for an onyx ring. We didn't have any. We talked to one of our vendors who does a lot of vintage jewelry. She had two or three. We're going to bring them in and show this nice person. Maybe we found her a ring. But if you're looking for something, a special purse, outfit, clothes, Claire and Ann and Melissa are great and they help everybody kind of shop and find stuff that spruces up their closets. So thanks for watching. Lots of great stuff. Um, look online. It looks like while we've been watching, um, while I've been on, that two, two purchases were made. Yay, that makes me happy when I hear it. Um, <clears throat> we'll fill those out and get them out to everybody. But hope you have a great week. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care. Um, Liz, please take care. You know, we think of you and send you hugs. Um, and everybody else, just, you know, do, the, do what's good for you. Take some mental time. Don't worry about things. Don't stress about things you can't control. When you walk into a glass door, back up and say, ouch, and then move on. <laughs> That's what we do. <laughs> so... Thanks bunches for watching. We'll see you next time. Friday at 12.15, um, we do our Focus Friday video, which is always crazy. And then we do this again on Monday night. Thanks, guys. Bye. Have a good evening.